Oh, right there. Oh, he hammered it. Oh, geez, he hammered it. Oh, he's got pulling drag. Did you see how hard he hit that? Yeah. He. Oh man, I might. I wonder if I need the net. I might need a net. Okay. Whoa, he hammered it. I can't even see what I got yet. Well, hey guys, welcome back to Hook by Hurley. Today I am back over at Dobson Ranch. We are gonna do some catfishing, maybe catch some bluegill, uh, bass, whatever we can get our hands into. Last time I was here, I got that big old 17 pound flathead. So I'm really looking forward to uh, trying to catch some fish today. I'm just waiting on my buddy, Terry, who's gonna be coming over here and fishing with me. He's on his way. But in the meantime, I'm getting set up and let's throw out some poles. I got a, uh, a shrimp here I'm gonna throw on the catfish pole. Let's put it out there. So this area right here is where I got that flathead on the bluegill right over in this area. I'm going to be just going with a nice, you know, raw piece of shrimp here on that number two Mostad hook. Let's throw that out here for now. We'll see how the bait like this does with, uh, you know, different kinds of bluegills and stuff. Sometimes they just eat all the bait, but we'll see. So let's get this out here for now. I saw something pop up out there. It was probably a carp. Yeah. Good seeing you, man. Hey. Oh. <laughs> well, Terry made it. Yeah. Now we can catch fish. <laughs> now we can begin. Exactly. I was just kind of waiting for you, you know? Yeah. You know, I was thinking, Terry, the other day, all I can seem to catch is bluegills, you know? So I might change the channel name to like the Bluegill Whisperer or something yeah. and just make it a bluegill channel. All I catch is bluegills. I mean, I can I can do that, like on the regular. I can catch bluegill. The rest of these fish, they just don't like me. <laughs> <I'll get it. laughs> oh, our first catch of the day is a turtle. Little painter, slider turtle. I think, I think we can get him out without the net. We don't get him tangled in there. I think he didn't get hooked too badly. Here, buddy. I got him in my pocket. Come here, bud. Oh, you got it right through the bottom jaw. He got hooked pretty good under the bottom jaw there. He wasn't going nowhere. They got him all the way through. Yeah. But he actually looks like good color for uh, one of these ponds other than his shell. Okay. There he is. He doesn't want to say hello. Be free. Terry just moved location and I was down here and I threw my worm in for a second and all of a sudden I got hammered and uh, here's what I got. I got a little bluegill. <laughs> Not really. He's actually quite big uh, but he gut hooked. You can see the line I had to cut it right here. He gut hooked it so he's not going to make it but what a pretty pretty bluegill. Unfortunately he is not going to make it with that gut hook so we will end up just cutting him up for cut bait. He's a little too big for, for live bait. So I'm going to cut a piece off and we'll try in here. I saw some more movement over there for more fish. All right, let's put him out for some cut bait. Big old fatty worm on here. This is the spot we got that nice bluegill in right here. Right where it drops off. Going weightless. There's quite a few little bluegills here. There's, oh, oh, we got another one right there. Hey, look. Right away. Yep. Second cast over here with this one. At least we didn't gut hook this guy. Yeah. These guys are really light colored. Look at how lightly colored he is. Look, he's almost silver. 
Oh, it's a bluegill, but he's silver. Oh my gosh, yes. Like the other guy was really bright silver color too. Yeah. Like that was second cast. He just hammered it down here. Oh, right there. Oh, he hammered it. Oh, geez, he hammered it. Oh, he's got pulling drag. Did you see how hard he hit that? Yeah. He, oh man, I might, I wonder if I need the net. I might need a net. Okay. Whoa, he hammered it. I can't even see what I got yet. No, no, it's catfish, catfish. Dude, he crushed it. Here, put him in the grass. Man, he like hammered that little worm. Whoa. That was a good, this, I mean, you can't keep the fish here, but that's a good eating size. Yeah. Ah. Nice little side hook here. Oh, no weight. Yeah, weightless on that. Wow. Croaking away. Yeah. It's pretty. Very nice. Pretty little, probably like a pound, pound and a half or. Good job. Really pretty. Perfect side hook on him. Yep. Right there. Right Look at that. So far we got a turtle, a bluegill, and now uh, a little one, one pounder channel. We just got this little one pound channel over there on the uh, little worm. He's croaking away. All right, we're gonna let him go. All right, buddy, go get big. I told you we should have moved back to this corner. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Good call. Another beautiful silver one. There we go. That's a pretty one. This one has uh this one has the stripes on it. There we go. Another another one. Let me show Terry. Just having oh oh there was a good hit. That was another good hit. What do we get? Another catfish. Catfish number two! Small one. Yeah, right in the side hook again. Little baby catfish. Oh, he's a, he's a croaker. Cute, healthy little baby. Look at that guy. Skinny little runt. Hey, buddy. What's in your mouth? He's got a hook stuck in his mouth. We need to get it out for him. It's not mine. Really? Yeah. You guys see that? That green there? That's a hook right in the bottom of his tongue. Let's see if we can get it out for him. There, we saved him. Hook out. All right, buddy. No blood either. What's that? No blood. Good. All right. Out. Okay, go. There he goes, we got it. So far, three bluegills over here, two catfish. Now Terry's on board. Finally got the right set up. This is my spinning reel. But that's where the fish are all hanging out right now. Right there, Robo. Got him, got him. Feels like another cat. Yeah. Another catfish. Catfish number three. They're all little ones, but yeah, on the light on the light rod. Come here. Okay, Come here. Get them in the grass out of the heat. Cat number three. 
Uh, another one about the size of that first guy. Mm -hmm. But definitely, like you said, more beat up than the first guy. And they're all perfect little side hooks. Yeah. They're not gut hooking it, so that's good. But now I feel like I need to check all you guys to make sure you haven't swallowed anything else. No, he looks good. Look at those pads. Man, they're so scratchy. Oh, yeah. They cut my fingers up. Yeah. There we go. Cat number three, little guy. There's this little hole right here has been full of fish. All right, buddy. Uh, hey guys, thanks for checking out the video. I was over here at Dobson Ranch with Terry. We didn't get any big fish, but we got a bunch of little fish, a bunch of bluegills and catfish. So, hey, thanks for checking out the video. Stick around for the next one and I'll see you guys then. Later.